Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video and please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that's very highly requested ever since I got my first PR package from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And that is going to be an in-depth review of the new Luminous Magic Star setting powder. So what I did was I put the original formula on this side and I took the new Luminous formula and put it on this side. And we did a five hour wear test and I think you guys are going to be really surprised at the results. I can already tell you off bat which is my favorite. Can you guys right now without going into it see the difference because there is a giant difference. So yeah guys that's what we're going to be doing for today's video and before I forget it's only a matter of days until I announce the winner of my giant mystery box giveaway. I'm having a giveaway here on my channel. It's going to be a mystery box filled with Jeffree Star Cosmetics for one lucky subscriber. So if you haven't entered already make sure you do guys it's gonna be an amazing one if you didn't catch my last video I made the announcement that there's gonna be two winners so one of my winners is going to win the giveaway of the mystery box and the second person is going to win an entire lipstick vault all to themselves I'm so happy this time that I could have two winners and I can't wait for you guys to see what's inside so yeah guys definitely if you haven't entered already make sure you do I will have that linked as always in the description section and without any further ado guys let's jump right into this comparison review and see if these powders are worth the money. All right, guys, before we get into the actual comparison, let's talk a little bit about the powders themselves. The website describes the original formula as an ultra fine, soft and luxurious formula that is infused with vitamin C and E with a special blend of silica that controls oils and keeps you looking flawless all day. Experience the airbrush Jeffree Star approved blurring effect currently available in eight stunning shades. So this was the original bad boy. Both of these guys guys go for $22 US, which is a pretty decent price. If we're going to be comparing it to something more high end, like the Laura Mercier setting powder that most people, I don't know about nowadays, but back in the day, that is the one everyone used. So it's a little bit priced way better than that, in my opinion. So for the Magic Star Luminous setting powder, the website describes that it is a luminous version of Jeffree Star's beloved Magic Star setting powder designed to set makeup with a radiant finish. So I feel like the key difference here is that one is very matte, whereas one is luminous. Now the original formula comes in eight shades, whereas the new one he's extended it and this one comes in nine shades. Because I have all nine of the luminous, I'm definitely gonna be doing some swatches for you guys so you can really see the different colors here. So first we have fair, beige, topaz, caramel, honey, rose, natural, and suede. And as you can see, guys, it's a pretty decent range. I feel like a lot of people will be covered, if not everybody. So I really love that about it. So before we jump into the demos of me actually using them on my skin, let me just tell you a little bit about my skin. So I am usually a very oily girl. I need powders to absolutely keep all of my oils at bay. So usually something that's luminous, I will literally run away from but I don't find that with these powders. You're not getting a oily, gross look. It actually does hold the oils, in my opinion, which you guys will see in a minute. So I definitely love that about it. Another thing to note about my skin, guys, I have textured skin. So again, something that is luminous is usually going to really emphasize that texture. But again, I found that this is different with this luminous powder. Just like Jeffrey said, with its blurring qualities, I can definitely see that. You're not getting an overly powdery, cakey look. I really, really like that about these powders. All right, guys, let's get to testing. So I've already done my makeup. I have my foundation on, I have all of my stuff on. Now, usually when I use a translucent setting powder, it's the absolute last thing I do. I use it to cut my cheeks and then I set my forehead a little bit, a little bit on the chin and in between here so that I can absorb any oils or anything that might end up breaking up my makeup. So the way we're going to test it out today. So on this side, I'm going to go completely matte. I'm going to take the original matte translucent formula. I'm going to do all the usual setting I do. And then for the other side, we're going to take the brand new luminous. We're going to set it. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And then we're going to do some close-ups on the skin so you guys can really see the difference. By the way, guys, before I jump into these, I wouldn't normally gravitate towards the translucent because it is so stark white. Every time I've used it, it's just like bam in your face. But because I have that in both of the formulas, that's the one we're going to be testing out. And plus, not everyone's skin tone is obviously the same. This way, it's the universal shade that goes with everyone. So it's just going to be the best to test. So what I do with my powders, I will literally go right here 
do a straight line. Oops. Doing this really helps clean up if you've taken your bronzer too low and it looks a little bit crazy. This will definitely clean it up. I usually let this sit for, I'm gonna say, 10 minutes tops. I'm just gonna put that here, just like that. For the rest, I'm gonna take a teeny tiny bit on a brush here and I'm just going to pat it right here on the side on the forehead, just like this. And then around the nose, just a little teeny tiny bit more right around the chin area on the side. All right, now going in with the luminous side and I did switch the beauty blender. So I'm just going to carve that out like we did on the other side, just like that. And just like we did the other side, I'm gonna take that luminous and set this side of my forehead, just like this. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that and put it around the nose here as well as teeny tiny bit on the chin. All right guys, powder is on. So I'm just gonna let this bake for 10 minutes and then I will hop back on and show you guys what it looks like before we do our time test. All right guys, I've brushed the bake off and I have to say, it's clear that this luminous side is the winner for me. I much prefer it. This gave me way too much of a white cast, the matte translucent. So the luminous, in my opinion, is much more of a beautiful formula, but enough talking. Let me put it to the test. I'm gonna wear it for five hours and I'm gonna do more close up so we can see really how this sits on the skin. Is it gonna hold our oils better? Keep in mind that I'm an oily girl, so I always go for more matte products and steer away from luminous. But so far I've been really liking the luminous. Let's give it the wear test and see how it goes. Okay guys, it's been five hours. I can already see a difference. So if we're looking at this side here, this is the matte side. So if we look in here, First of all, this creasing here, gross. In here, look weird and creasy. I don't know if you guys can see. And for the forehead, it looks pretty similar to me than the luminous side. But if we take a look here at the luminous side, I don't have any of that weird creasage. I don't have any of it here. And I don't look greasy. In terms of greasiness, I think they're both pretty much the same. Like you're getting a good amount of oil control for both. I thought with the Luminous, we'd be really getting a lot more oil, but we are not. This side actually looks so much nicer. I don't have any in my smile line here. I don't have anything, but this one, if you can see it, like, are you kidding? There is a giant crease here. And on top of that, there is a clear outcast still. I know originally when we powder away, it was there, but it didn't go away. I don't like the way the original formula looks compared to the Luminous, so there you have it. So I think it's pretty freaking obvious. I absolutely love the new formula, 1,000 times better. It did an amazing job of holding my oils at bay. I don't feel like I'm really too greasy looking. It did exactly what I wanted it to do without making me look too powdery. So if you were trying to decide between should I get the original formula or should I get the new Luminous, I would highly suggest the Luminous over the original formula. I I for one definitely like the way it sits on my skin a little bit better i feel like the original translucent formula left a white cast it doesn't really look that nice on my skin compared to this side so yeah guys i definitely would suggest the luminous over the matte i hope this video helped you out i have gotten so many questions like i mentioned about the setting powder i feel like so many people put their focus on the vault as well as the palette obviously and no one really honed in on the magic star setting powder but now i have done that now you guys know and I really really hope you enjoyed this video I hope if you were trying to decide between the two I helped you out and yeah guys that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching please guys if I haven't mentioned already make sure you enter to win that giveaway the winner for the mystery box is going to be announced on September 10th and the winner of the vault will be announced on September 17th so definitely guys make sure you're subscribed make sure all the bell notifications are hit so you do not miss this because you are not gonna want to miss what's in here and plus did you win are you the one definitely stay tuned to find out guys and yeah thank you so much for watching please guys leave me some comments down below which one did you gravitate to in terms of the powders do you prefer the luminous formula like i did or do you like the original more matte formula definitely guys leave me some thoughts down below and let me know please guys give this video a like if you like this style of video and please don't forget to subscribe it really helps me out when you guys subscribe and i will catch you on the next video Bye guys! Peace out. Peace out.